I went to the 1D Dropout Summit five years ago. The students said they wouldn't have dropped out or they wouldn't have failed or they would have come to school more if they could have found just one person that acted like they cared. I know that kids come to school with a lot of baggage. No student wants to come and sit in a desk and be talked to and not be a part of the process. We all want to be part of something. Children are not blank slates. When they come here, they have something. And so I meet them where they are. Okay, this is the topic. Before we even open the book, what do you already know? And then we build on that. I know people think, well, oh, you just go in here and teach. But you teach in different ways. You teach different styles. You deal with different issues. Do you want to be known as a good person or a bad person? Repetition, repetition, repetition. And then you put them out on the stage and hope they perform. What did you say three minus five was? Negative two. Negative two, very good. Everybody needs somebody. You can't do it all by yourself. You need a team to make the whole piece form together. In this school, in life, they're going to have to act as a team in order to overcome obstacles in order to knock down barriers, a partner, someone to make me feel better about myself. But you have improved, you know that. It just in this week, it's been a, a big improvement. What does that mean though? I've got a negative 2.5 and a 2.5. When they come here, it should be someplace that they feel safe, that they feel excited to go to. I think if you use innovative techniques, that kids can forget about a lot of their troubles and start building something inside of themselves for not only for the present time but for the future. The only way to really keep them on top of learning and to keep them engaged in learning and to keep make it relevant for them is for our teachers to constantly be stretching their own boundaries to bring new things into the classroom and that helps in turn stretch our kids boundaries. Or you think they're just saying this building is bad or the building and the people inside of it? Why not be directly involved with your future? Why not be directly involved, invest in who's going to take care of you? Each teacher should look at themselves as a business. The first equation is going to be 3A plus Y equal 38, right? I want my products to represent the things that I represent, which is to be disciplined, to be prepared, and to be diverse enough so that they can adjust out in the outside world. And I'm saying to them that if you give me 100% of your investment and I give you my 100%, that you're going to do well. You're going to be fine. And go ahead and take a 10 for that. These kids are people. They're not numbers. And you've got to learn to relate to them. When I write students a letter, I really hope that they remember why they knew me. And they knew me for the sole purpose of getting an education. The few teachers that I had that were really good teachers were so influential in my life. I wanted to be just like them. They thought enough of me to want to share their experiences with me. And I think enough of young people to do the same thing. I haven't checked that yet. Are oh, you ahead of the game? We are someone who um, praises. We are someone who supports. Before school, during your lunch, on your prep, after school, on the weekends, meeting a child, trying to change a child's life, one child at a time. So I told her in class that that was excellent. I praised her in class. I took two students to their first ballet and the mother was in tears when I went to pick them up. I'm like, why are you crying? Because no teacher has ever gone to that length. And you guys got this in 20 minutes. You can clap for yourself. We have to discover what's really going on with them, and it's our job to pull that out of them, make sure that they have some hope and they believe in themselves when they go out into the world. developing them into mature adults, productive citizens, and uh, young people who care about where they are and where they're going.
Great Teachers is brought to you by the United Way for Southeastern Michigan with support from the Ford Foundation. More information is available at www.liveunitedsem.org.